What's going on, guys? It's your boy CJ Ball, and I'm here with three tips to help you guys with your streaming. Now, if you like these tips and want to learn more, you can definitely check out my YouTube channel. Um, this link will probably take you to it. Also, you can always ask me while I'm live on Twitch. So, here's the big thing. Whenever you start out streaming, sometimes it's kind of you know, heavy on what you're you're supposed to do. You try to figure out, you know, how do I get more people? How do I make my channel look good? How do I get myself all together and presentable to, you know, all of these people that I'm hopefully, you know, going to be talking with every single day. So I'm here to tell you, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. When you're a new streamer, that's pretty much why people are there. They can see your new streamer and they want to talk with you. So the biggest thing is community, you know, Under, let people know, hey, I'm new to this. Um, You know, you're just looking for your friends. You're looking to make your friends, your homies. So that's what I call my, my, the homies. So you're looking for your peoples. OK, understand that no one's going to, you know, check out your VODs, so play some music that not only you like, but they like. Um, jam out with them in the game. If it's a multiplayer game, you know, have them come in with you. Have them, you know, jam out with you. If you have a Discord, you know, have them, you know, talk with you on your Discord, on your streams. And these are just your friends, and that's what you want to do. You want to, you know, give them a good time. Some people like to be more interactive with the stream. Uh, you know, appeal to those people. Appeal to the people that come to your stream every day. Those are your homies, all right? So that's tip number one. Community, just be a new streamer and, you know, understand that you are new. They're, they're going to understand it. So that's kind of the, the thing right there. So second thing, um, getting overlays for your, getting overlays for your, you know, channel isn't too hard nowadays. You can go to Nerd or Die, get some free things there. You can go to Stream Elements and get some free overlays there, free overlays and animated alerts on both things. This is not a sponsored, uh, this is not a sponsored video or anything like that. This is me, you know, going off the top of my head of where you could go get these. Um, there are a bunch of uh, creators on Fiverr where you can go and have them custom made. That's the route that I did. But if you're new and you're just trying to figure things out and you want to know where to, you know, where you could go with things like that, but you just want your channel to look good while you're in that phase of just starting, um, definitely check out Nerd or Die. Definitely check out uh, Stream Elements. You could also get go to, um, oh, who was it? Stream, uh, Stream Labs. There's a bunch of places to go. I would definitely say um, Nerd or Die because they have some pretty cool stuff and I haven't went through all of their stuff yet. They have some really cool stuff. But Stream Elements has everything right there. It's a lot of less, um, you know, it's a lot less uh, strain on your computer. All you have to do is go get the, you know, go get them on your profile. Then you take the link from each one of those and you put in every single scene on your OBS. And there you go. You have your setup and stuff like that. You can customize and stuff. You can customize the stuff. You can um, test some things out before you go live. And then if you quick tip for going live and testing your stream out make a secondary account on twitch so that you could test that out too that's a little bit of extra right there so number three i'm going to keep it really short and sweet on number three um try to find other streamers okay i know people were talking about networking and stuff like that yeah that's a big deal all right i'm not too worried about the whole networking find other streamers it feels a lot better when you find Someone that's not only above you in viewers, you know, but below you in viewers. Try to find a mentor or something like that. Um, look, it's it's okay to to talk with some people about you know you're a streamer. Don't do it in front of them on the you know on the stream or not. Send them a message or something like that. Also, you know, try to talk with other streamers that are also new as well, especially new in the game that you're playing. Um, that's kind of a big deal because you want to find, you know, some people that you can talk with about, you know, your tolls and things like that. Some you don't want to always dump that off on um, you know, your 
your viewers or whatnot. Never dump that off on your viewers. All right. Just talk with talk with another streamer that's in your area, in your you know area of viewers, or in, in the same game as you. That person can only help you lift up. But it, you can brainstorm and things like that, themes and all that. That's it's a big help, and you wouldn't believe how big of a help it is. So those are my three tips. Thanks so much for jamming out with me, you guys. Um, if you want to know more and want to learn more, definitely check out my channel. It's on YouTube. You can this link will take you to it. Also, check me out on Twitch. You can always ask me any questions. And I'll check you guys later.